here for production we're not sheriff's officers hey guys so to catch all the new people up who haven't been on my channel before or haven't seen my older videos one of my first ever videos on youtube was a video about a guy who was pretending to be a bounty hunter I'm giving you every opportunity that I can. This is private property. I have given you ample opportunity to surrender. You may want to watch that video first. It's linked up there if you want to click it, but I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. Who knows? We'll see. If you if you become lost at any point, you're like, what is this kid talking about? Go watch that video. So he goes by the name of Patty Mayo, which is a fake name. There's a lot of fakeness going on, but we'll get to that. So the video I made a few months ago was basically just me showing proof as to why Patty Mayo's bounty hunter series on YouTube was fake and why it's dangerous to fake something like that. For my proof in the video, I showed casting calls for his show, proving he used actors. I showed that he was using a stage name. I showed how he used to be a prankster. Yeah, so he's nobody. Oh, okay. Have you ever shotgunned it? No, what's this? Oh, let me show you. I'm gonna take the smoke in my mouth and then I'm gonna give it to you from my mouth. Where does the smoke come out? Your mouth. You your blow it your out. mouth. Can I do it to you? Yeah. <laughs> Uber prank gone wrong, gone sexual, 18 plus. <laughs> And pranksters, nine times out of ten, are scummy. For some reason, once again, we don't know why, any psychologist out there, real psychologist, <laughs> sorry, I gotta stop doing that. If any psychologists out there want to research that, be my guest, because I see a pattern going on. I also showed how he's not a registered bounty hunter in his state. Basically, I showed the whole nine yards, and there's some pretty solid proof that Patty Mayo was faking his series, but at the time of making that video months ago, it was a very unpopular opinion to say he was fake. The only other person calling Patty Mayo out at the time was a guy called Donut Operator. Mayo. I'm actually starting a new series on my channel called Spoiled Mayonnaise, and it's going to be about the adventures of Mr. Patty Mayo and his partner D going around LA arresting hardened criminals. So, not a lot of people agreed, and this unpopular opinion shows in the comments and dislikes of that video. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a bad time. Patty Mayo is not fake. Like if you agree. I came just to dislike. God, I feel bad for giving this video of you. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, if anyone in the future asks, why is that Primit guy so toxic? You can just refer them to that video because honestly, it was a traumatic event. Imagine dedicating many, many hours into editing and researching your first YouTube video and it's met with 24,000 dislikes. At this point, things were not going good in the Prim Kingdom. The villages were being pillaged. The farms were burned. Timmy went missing for a few weeks. Honestly, it was pretty nice when he went missing. Now I admit, my video was not the best. It was my start on YouTube and I had no clue what I was really doing. Not that I have a clue now, but I think I've improved a wee bit. And in my opinion, the video received a lot more hate than it deserved. My video did offer a lot of proof, but people just didn't want to acknowledge it at the time because fans will defend their idols to the ends of time, no matter what you say. He's not fake, you are. Petty Mayo was like the closest thing to Voldemort that I can think of. Any time I would mention his name, ever, a video would increase greatly in dislikes. Hi, can I get a BLT with some mayo, please? Oh, you like mayo? Yeah, I like mayo, you don't? You know, well, you know, I've just had some bad experiences with mayo. Um, mayo likes to lie to kids. Mayo doesn't know how to use a gun. Mayo sent his nine-year-old army after me, you know? Are, are we still talking about food? Even if the video had nothing to do with him, I would just make a joke about Patty Mayo because I like to reference older videos, you know, like the certain therapist joke I've been using recently. It's just fun to reference older videos and that's it's a bit toxic, you know? I love it. My Discord was using him to troll me and he probably put a hex on me for all I know. But as time went on, everyone on my channel forgot about Patty Mayo in those dark days in the kingdom, but I did not. All this time, I've been secretly planning my vengeance to destroy Patty Mayo. I actually did forget about him too, but it's more dramatic to pretend that I have a grudge against him. He's honestly probably a cool dude. So since my video on Patty Mayo, quite a bit has happened. One major thing and key component to the story is that he became a cop on his show. He was actually the sheriff. 
It's funny how someone with no police experience can become a sheriff in a few weeks. I thought that was interesting. He also started doing a lot of work in Oregon. Please don't leave me a thousand comments of how I pronounced Oregon wrong. I know it's a debate, but I say it Oregon. Don't at me. This is also another key factor to the story. Hint, hint. It's on the test. I feel like I'm a teacher. <laughs> All was going well for Patty Mail. His channel grew by 3 million subscribers, his views were all doing good, and his fans all still believed and defended his series to the death. And I know I jokingly call his fans 9 year olds, but his series also fooled a lot of adults too. Even Mr. Beast tweeted about how he used to believe they were real. So just because I call them 9, that's a joke. Some could be 12. <laughs> <laughs> so Patty Mayo's downfall really lies with his move to Oregon. Patty used to run his show in California where the state is used to having production crews on the streets. Like everyone's used to seeing people dressed up as cops for movies. It's just like a normal thing around there because that's where they produce movies. That's where all the actors are. But when Patty Mayo moved, he moved to a smaller town that's not used to having all this chaotic stuff going on. Paul, you are gonna get tased. You are gonna get tased. I need you on your knees. On your knees, you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. Stop, 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 stop! Stop, stop! Eventually, fans and members of that town started contacting the real police out of concern or they just wanted to talk to Patty Mayo. So the real police got word of Patty Mayo's show and they released something I've been waiting for since the dark days. YouTuber Patty Mayo is not affiliated with Oregon's sheriff's offices. We are aware of YouTuber Patty Mayo and his activities. Mr. Mayo is not a member of law enforcement nor affiliated in any way with any sheriff's office in Oregon. He is an actor and the uniform he wears is a costume. Additionally, <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. Additionally, everyone in his videos are part of his production crew or paid actors slash actresses. The sheriff's office has met with Mr. Mayo and advised him filming his videos in public locations cannot continue without the proper security, permits if needed, and road closures. The sheriff's office has also expressed their concern and strongly encouraged him and other actors not to be in public locations in their costumes. And then, a few days later, Petty Mayo ended up going on the local news to explain his show to everyone. Someone will say, oh, hey, thanks for your service. And we say, oh, no, 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 we're here for production. We're not sheriff's officers. The intent is to create a production. It's not to commit a crime. And so that's why before we even purchased the cars for the show or any equipment, we sat down with the police department. We said, this is what we'd like to do. What do you think? To try and avoid any confusion, people on the production team wear these bright yellow vests that say film crew. And if anyone happens to be walking by during a shoot, there is a dedicated member of the crew to go tell that person exactly what's going on. Sergeant Bailey's- I expect a handwritten apology letter from every single one of you 24,000 people. <laughs> I'm joking. So that settles it. Petty Bale is 100% proven fake. I do want to say though, I'm not trying to badmouth his show. His show is actually really, really well done. It's actually one of the best produced shows on YouTube in my opinion, and I recommend you guys go check it out. My problem from the start with Petty Mayo was always about him portraying the show as real and why that's dangerous. Petty Mayo has a young audience who, for the longest time, believed this guy was a real cop slash bounty hunter, and in his show, especially towards the beginning of his show, Petty Mayo had really bad gun control. He was always pointing his gun at his partner or innocent people with his finger on the trigger. Just overall, he was just a really bad role model for gun safety and was very careless about it. That was my whole basis of my critique. I'm fine with him making a fake police show. I'm fine with him making a fake bounty hunter show. But you need to let people know that it's not real. So when you're acting dangerously, these young kids watching your show don't think that's how they should act. And I also know there's gonna be a comment from someone saying, he never said it was real. Primink, you're dumb. Which is true, I guess. He never claimed to be legit, but he also was trying very hard to hide the fact that he was fake. He blocked anyone on Twitter who mentioned it was fake, including me. I'm still salty about that, Mr. Mayo. He was deleting his old cast and call websites and ads, so he was actively trying to hide the fact that it was fake. So he can't really say, I never tried to portray it as real, because by hiding the people proving it's fake, he in return is trying to portray it as real. Once again, no hard feelings for Patty Mayo. He's probably a chill dude. I bet he likes mayo. That's cool. I like mayo. <laughs> But I am glad we finally have closure to the Patty Mayo trilogy. It was a fun, stressful ride, and overall, I'm happy, and hopefully you are too, because I don't want to see 24,000 dislikes again. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I'm sorry if this was like short or different. I don't know. 
I'm losing my mind. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a like because that helps me in some sort of way. And subscribe. Not that that matters because if you subscribe, you don't get their notifications anyways. I love YouTube. All right. Bye.